All right, so uh, uh, redo, do it all over again. No, this has to be perfect. Yeah, okay. Hello and welcome to part thirty-four of no. my Lex commentary. I'm Spartanix zero to nine, and with me today I have my friend Obama-sama and my waifu, <laughs> also known as Cooking with Asian, and uh, bam. Just my waifu. Yeah. It's a ton. Alright, his first name, my last name, Michael. So, we got some aliens attacking. Port said, again. And I guess $200 to save them. Or oh, wow. for scientist. Is that a lot? That's. It's, a, it's an okay amount. Also, that's me in the I, middle. I'm the robot. Mind you, I have no idea what's going on. Did you say my character was actually here? Or was this a different playthrough? Oh, no, this is like long before I actually met you. This is like. This series was done for a long time. Wait, is, is this. Oh, this is original XCOM. My bad. I thought this was XCOM too. Nah, I might I get know. to that one now. Yeah, you should. This is, this is the one with all your CDIs. <laughs> yeah, then we got Zelda in here too. Look at her, she's a Power Ranger. The alien abductions are becoming more then we got Bradford. We've got reports coming in of attacks in broad day. I think there's Chris and Kylie. In broad daylight. Oh yeah, that's kind of So in XCOM, people already know about the aliens, right? Uh, depends on if we're acknowledging the XCOM Bureau. XCOM 2 implies that they acknowledge it, but yeah, aliens have been around for a long time. If we're going by Bureau Logic, otherwise it just well, showed up. Like humanity, right? Like humanity in the game knows already? Nah, it just kind of like showed up in like 2015? And then it started wrecking stuff? Uh huh. And now we have a bunch of guys who can't aim for crap uh, defending humanity. I see. We got me and my cool robot body. Yo, man, you're thick. Hey, man, that's more. That's more me to love. I guess that's true. Oh, that's wild. And Kyle's a jetpack since we're really far in the game. Going up. So his job is to sit there the entire mission. On oh, a watch. Look out. <laughs> we can't do this in XCOM 2. Wait, is that the alien? The brown looking one? The orange line? Yeah, that thing. No, that's you. Oh, no, that's uh, Cerebella. She's a robot like me, so she's orange. Cyborg? Yeah, she's a cyborg lady. And we're, we don't care about... Uh, property damage, so... So you just break the walls because... Yeah, we want to get the orange stuff over there. We don't care about collateral damage. Collateral! <laughs> Is that like a soup kitchen, man? This soup kitchen. It's a pizza place, or it's a restaurant. Oh no! Nice. Aliens! Alien beans! <laughs> so you no. see Kyle just floating there? <laughs> 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 Dang. Wow, this game is wild. I can't aim for crap. It still looks. Oh my god, this. Coming new to this entirely, it looks really neat. Oh yeah, I love this game. If I see it on sale again, I might pick it up for you. Like, gee whiz. Did you mention, like, considering getting it for me once? I don't remember. Yeah, oh, that's bad. These guys, oh, so these guys are just doing the laundry. We should just leave them be. <laughs> just the, the, the problem is that they mix whites with. With red, so now they have pink underwear. Oh, for that they must die. Go, Zelda! <laughs> no, Zelda, you're not supposed to get shot. But dang. Wasn't like the end joke for. Oh, well, Impa's dead by this point, right? Yeah, Impa's long dead. She's the only Spoiled. person that dies. Mind so, Frey. Zelda's a psychic, so she's gonna just uh, shoot mind bullets at him. There we go, mind bullets. Nice. So we're very powerful for like this point in the game. The only threat is the robot ones. The small guys are literally no threat. Oh, I got you. I mean, they look threatable, threatening, threatening. What are they doing in the laundromat? This is the biggest <laughs> question. <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's like, you know where we should start? Step one for world domination. Where? The laundromat. They'll never. If they're expect dirty, it. it's like if they're dirty, they can't fight back. It's like, <laughs> what's the reason? Like, Aliens I can... don't have dry cleaning on their home planet. <laughs> yeah, that's why the Eritreans are so angry. They just want to, they're not here for us to, like, uh, take over us. No, they just want our laundry mats. And there's Kyle with an impossible angle. He's probably gonna hit, though. Yeah! 
Yeah. Right through the, through the brick wall. <laughs> right through the wall. You don't even care. Now goes Zang. Like the wind. Good job, Zang. Proud of you. Nice Is that a shotgun? That was a minigun. Well, it was a laser minigun. It has such the a weird firing gun. animation. Ooh, damn. God. Another medic on sick bay. Oh yeah, that was like <laughs> the joke for my soldier, right? Yeah, like you're like the one of the two medics, and you're always in sick bay playing Skyrim, because you're always hurt. <laughs> and I was also gonna help you play Skyrim now. It's gonna help you mod it. Yeah, I modded mine really bad. I, I kind of broke it because now I can't log in without crashing every like five, six seconds. This is also a complete waste. I'm just showing off how my control sucks in this game. You can use it as much as you want, like every couple of turns, but they you can't shoot them and they'll turn on you eventually. Aww. Also going back to what Spell was saying earlier about collateral damage that we don't care about it. The mechs have a skill called collateral damage. And it destroys all the cover in an area. Uh speaking of it, actually speaking of collateral damage, if you make collateral damage, will you have to pay for it in the game or not? If this was the 20 year old XCOM, you would, but in this one, it's just now, Bob. We, we were never here. <laughs> it was a terrorist. Not yeah. how he just keeps popping in with that camera. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so. In this game, there's cover, and cover just like sort of negates a person's chance to hit. So I know for a fact that robot right there in front of me, his max aim chance is 80. So under perfect conditions, he has an 80% chance to hit me. But with that heavy cover that uh, everyone else is against, you said a full shield. Mm -hmm. That means that it'll take away 40% chance of their hitting my soldiers. But with my robots, they can't take cover. Or my cyborgs, I should say. Because you're so big. Yeah, because we're so big. So we have a natural like 20 defense, so it's like low cover. And in that, I literally call that cover in a can. That's smoke grenade. It's like heavy cover in a can, so it's minus 40 on his aim. So much thumbers. It's. It's almost like D&D in a way, because you ever get, you can attack once or get two actions. Yeah, it is, it is. It's very much like D&D, except you're playing all the characters. Yeah. I kind of wish your Paladin character was in this playthrough, though. Oh, right. Oh, I forgot to make her an XCOM 2. Thanks for reminding me. Always. <laughs> in my first playthrough, I had Chris, I had Kyle, I had Birdie, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Birdie was there for sure. Spo was there. And then, like, at Joe character, I had Krug Dutsky, and then one of them was, like, Spitfire. So I renamed her to Spitbutter, and then it renamed her, because her name was already Paula. Ah. Uh. So then I changed her last name to Dean, and then, like, her thing was just Spitbutter. Oh, Paul Dean. Yeah, Paula Dean. Spitbutter. Paula Dean. Spitbutter. It's good. Mm. She would always open up with, howdy, y'all. She was also very good at missing point blank shots. Like, incredibly so. Like ninety nine percent chances to hit, she'd miss. Cause she's wow. in y'all. So here's a mind controlled friend. Just go against your giant mechanized friend. It's fine. Just shoot him. It's all good. I'm on the move. All right. Cerebella has my punching arm, and I have a flamethrower now. Since a big red guy is me. I'm losing control of the situation. Oh, you won't be able to hear that. So I thought I was going to hit Cerebella, so I was like, hmm, probably shouldn't. And she's one of our psychic soldiers. Being psychic doesn't really mean much in this game aside from... They can do certain abilities like Mind Fray, that's guaranteed. It's like guaranteed damage. Sometimes. Mm. <laughs> it's guaranteed. Sometimes. Does like that mean it's guaranteed? <laughs> Alright, so the way it works is... Enemies have wool, which is like, you know, I said, like, aim is just like a flat chance to hit somebody. Yes. Oh my god, this looks so terrible from you. <laughs> Good job. Good job, Kyle. That was actually a dangerous enemy, he just one shot, by the way. Okay, so, back what I was saying. So, instead of aim, there's also will. And that mm -hmm. determines your chance of, like... Like magic panicking. stuff, yeah. Yeah, so. The higher the will is, the stronger their psionic attacks will be. As in chance to hit. So if theirs is like just greater than their the enemy's will, like that's like towards most part like twenty. So it's like morale basically. Yeah. So since theirs is higher, she has a higher chance of hitting her him with the psychic attack. 
which is what I mean by guaranteed, because, like, seven enemies are stupid, so they have low morale. Ah, okay, I got you. That's what you mean by guaranteed, kind of. <laughs> yeah. Sounds more like a saving throw kind of thing. Almost. Let's go. There's some more um, aliens? Yeah, there's some more foul Xenos around here. And we must purge them in the name of the Emperor. Like the wind. Like the wind, Zang. Like the wind. So since my robots are so big and bulky, I could just literally run them anywhere and it'll probably be fine. Okay. When are we gonna get like a another XCOM get down? Soon. Soon. We haven't seen one of those in a while. I think I'm about ready to go to an XCOM get down. Get down with XCOM? Oh, you'll see. You'll see. Alright. Comparing this XCOM 2 is like really interesting to see. That line means that there's an alien over there, she hears them. And that orange line means that there's a resource I can get. Mm. Alright, so have her go there, see if we see anything. She sees the resource. Let's have a new sectoid friend just go suicide into places. Go expendable. Love me. Aliens, get down! Oh, I hate those things. Oh, there are a lot okay. of aliens here. Oh, they're stealth. They're stealthy. Oh, there's more. Oh, okay. They're just looking for some CDs. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... It's like digital. On the ground, no. Rage Against the Machine, no. Hmm, Guns N' Roses. Next time, get down. No. Where are all the Bob Marley mixtapes? <laughs> <laughs> we need them. I found some Mountain Dew. So I can just imagine them. Just like trying to do normal people things, but getting in trouble because they're aliens. Like, do you imagine that like some of these aliens are just like alien tourists wanting to, to like Earth to see like the culture? That's what so, I was about the sectoids. They're all just like really um, overprotective about their guilty pleasures. Yeah. Oh god, it's a human! Quick, use a taser! Oh, it's too strong. I just, it just kind of melted him. M maybe it's a taser on their planet and they just don't know their own strengths. Hey, let's get down! Here goes all the overwatches. <laughs> It's better in XCOM 2. Because in this game, if. Like, don't keep taking her watch shots on the person that's already dead. <laughs> next time, too, they actually, like, stop shooting a person who's already dead and move on to the next target. Oh no, he's got mine merge. He has one extra HP. Our guns do, like, six anyway. He has three HP base. Oh no. The humanity. Get his Zelda. Zelda, you yeah, you sh <laughs> well, she was clearly aiming for that wall. Obviously. Making sure you couldn't get cover, man. That's a good plan. Alright, so that one stuff is basically just like, well, let's we make sight uh, mutants and cyborgs. For example, Kai was a mutant. Like, if I was invading Earth, I would go to like important landmarks like the Pentagon. Or like st the Statue of Liberty, or Mount Rushmore, or like the Wall of China, like stuff that you know is important, especially the Wall of China. But like being like, we're going to take over this world first with their music and then the laundry mats and their genuine cuisine. <laughs> Just like eating, eating pizza while you while playing some like 1980s like Guns and Roses and like. Washing your like intergalactic clothes that are dry clean only. <laughs> like, what's going on? <laughs> like, these, these are the worst like world dominators ever. If this is their first thing to do and they get to a hostile world, yeah, they got a fair point. They don't actually go for any tactically strategic things. It's just like, let's go check out this burger joint. <laughs> well, they're hungry. You're right. Also, XCOM, get down! That's better go. when it's a regular soldier. Yeah, there's no uh, unneeded zoom in. 
I won next at car dealership. That was actually one of the first couple missions. What? <laughs> what do they need a Honda Civic for? They got spaceships. Or well, maybe they get tired of the flying disc, man. You don't know. Alright, so I bother. Punch him. This will always hit. Oh, that poor <laughs> thing. <laughs> He's fine. He's faking it. Alright, so what's left now is those two uh, tentacle aliens we just saw. That's dope. So this is what you do with them. You put everyone in Overwatch. And then you just wait for them to stop being spooky. And then you wait for them to do something stupid, yeah. It takes a while. They're like the worst enemy in the game, I'm glad in that next come too. So these things purely exist just to like waste time. Next time get down! But yeah, like, at this point in the game, since they're for, they're for countering my style of playing, so I always have the sniper, sniper way in the back, because you can see the walls and everything, for those reasons. So, they're supposed to go capture a sniper and start strangling him, like the Vipers do in XCOM 2. And I'm supposed to be kind of screwed, because like, oh, he's all the way back there, and everyone's all the way up here, I can't save him. That's their job. But what for they really do is just waste time. Yeah, the tentacle dudes. Yeah. There are items you can make where you can make a soldier immune to getting strangled. Like this power armor they're wearing makes him immune to getting strangled. Mm. So now you're just trying to protect against space octopuses. Yeah. Can they reach your uh, jetpack soldiers? I've never seen them do it in the air because it would look weird because they should just fall. What? Actually, I think it's impossible because they can't be strangled in power armor. Hope you find them. Good job. Good job, Kyle. You try, Chowdy. Okay, we get it. Gang's back is cool. <laughs> Thank you. I like how you just like Overwatch, 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 Overwatch. <laughs> That's all you need to do. With this particular alien type. I hear him. He just came to the wrong neighborhood. I see it. Are right there too? Yeah, they always come in pairs. There you go, oh, Zang. That's how you do it. The other one's already dead. <laughs> Good job with Top Cow. Just making sure. Okay, so we took out like eight aliens. In the laundromat. In the laundromat. CD place. I Pizza parlor. <laughs> <sighs> and now Zang is more intelligent with Sonics. Sonic Inspiration is straight up better than Panic. Because they'll just shoot if you panic them, so I honestly don't see the point. Well, don't you want to see them lose control of the situation? Well, it's fun for when you're dealing with the uh, Exalt, because they actually say stuff. Oh, is that your base? Mm hmm. That's neat. And that old guy hates video games. This guy? Yeah, at least they're not playing computer games. What a jerk. Well, that's meta. So that pseudo power I'm looking at making right there is for Birdie, and it'll make him invisible. Ah. But it's super expensive, it's like $219. Get uh, selling guns for a dollar. <laughs> you can sell beam rifles for a dollar. And alien bodies for two dollars to McDonald's. Wait, you can sell the alien bodies? <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. And that's how the uh, chicken nuggets are made. Mm -hmm. So what you're telling me is that my chicken my my chicken fries are tentacle space monsters? Mm-hmm. More or less. Have... Haven't you noticed the suction cups? <laughs> <laughs> this makes it more authentic. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what that does. And Germany's panicking. Oh well, that's the 